Look at all of the snow, you guys. Winter is definitely upon us. I'll take care of you and make you happy. Hey, you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Raquel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me today. On this channel, I talk everything beauty, lifestyle, and nursing. I'm a mom of two, and I'm currently in school. Um, I have my LPN. I've been at LPN for two years, and now I'm going back to get my RN. So now I'm just documenting my journey to get my RN license. So I wasn't even planning on making a video today, but I was just so inspired because I am now studying for the HESI. I plan to take the HESI in about a month and I just want to document that journey as well and give you guys some tips on how I plan to study for it. So if you would like to watch this video, go ahead and stick around. So first and foremost, I'd just like to say that I went ahead and finished this semester. I took my final yesterday and I found out today that I got an A in my class. So if you guys want to see how I got that A, I did do a study with me video in the beginning of the semester just showing you guys how I like to study for that course. And again, I already passed with an A, so that's so awesome. So I'll leave that video up here in the cards in the description box below. So as far as the HESI, first and foremost, I contact my school, the school that I plan to take the HESI at. I contact them all the time whenever I have any questions. And it's so awesome because they have admissions advisors. So I know homegirl's number. I have her number stored. One thing that she did tell me was to focus mostly on reading comprehension, grammar, and vocabulary. Those take up the bulk of the HESI test. And then also to study the biology, chemistry, and math. So the school that I'm applying to, it seems like they're extremely thorough, which I love. So the admissions advisor sent me an email after we spoke on the phone and she gave me a whole bunch of different documentations. And one thing that she said was to get the HESI admission assessment exam review. So this is the book that I went ahead and picked up from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below if you guys are interested. So on here, it just gives you the information about the exam. It tells you how many questions exactly will be on the test. So reading, comprehension, vocab, grammar, biology, chemistry, anatomy, and physiology, and then there's a personal profile and a learning style. So for the reading, there are 55 items, vocab 55 and grammar 55. So for the English part, there's 55 each. Math is 55 items. And for biology, there's 30 items, chemistry, 30 items, and anatomy and physiology, 30 items. So that is one thing that she did tell me was to focus mostly on English because half of the test is going to just be on English. So I plan to do the English last just to do an overview because English is one of my strong points. But right now I'm just focusing mostly on science and math. One thing that I love that Mercy said in her video was to get this book at the library. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. I looked and they have 35 books available right now at the library. And let me show you guys what you can do right off your smartphone, your iPhone specifically, if you have an iPhone. Let me let me just show, show you what you can do. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is go to your notes app in your iPhone. You want to click right here where it has the camera icon right there. You want to go to scan documents. Okay. And now I'm going to take the picture. Okay. So do you see right here where it'll just take what you need right there. And then you can kind of adjust it if need be. You can get a wider angle if you need to or not. Or you can kind of go down a little bit. So let me just adjust it. Because right now all I want to do is get the picture okay and then you go down to keep scan or you can retake it if you don't like what it looks like and you guys let me go ahead and now you can save it or you can add more let me show you how good that looks 
so much better than just taking a regular picture is what I'm getting to. It's so clear. So um, again, what I plan on doing is printing this off, whiting out all the words so that I can then study myself. Why well, I think it's so clever to get it from the library because you can pretty much do that to any of the pages. And when I say these pages come out so crystal clear, I've done that many a times just because I like to study a lot in my bed. So instead of just scrolling through like social media, I can scroll through and read different passages and it's easy to read. It's so much easier if you've ever taken a picture, any of your textbooks, any notes, it's really difficult to see if you just take a regular picture of it. So when you do it this way, it's so much easier. So yeah, look, it's so clear. So again, I like to study in my bed. So when I do that, I can kind of zoom in. Look how clear, that's awesome. So again, I'm going to white all of this out. I'm gonna print it off, white all of that out. So I then can go ahead and put, and I don't know, I don't, I, when I took my HESI for my LPN school, we didn't have to do any of the science portion. So that, that was awesome. So I'm not sure what to expect. I don't know if they're going to have diagrams, but I'm a very visual learner and it's not gonna to be too difficult for me to go ahead and go back and try to remember after I learn it and relearn it. So I'm just gonna go in there and do the diagrams. Again, I'm not sure if the diagrams are actually gonna be on the HESI test, but it's good to go through and do it that way. So that's just what I'm planning on doing, but it's just so, it's so cool. It's so awesome. So again, it's such a great idea to go ahead and just get this book because it's probably not something you're going to need to keep forever. And these editions come and go all the time. I believe this one came out in 2017. So, you know, in a couple years, it's going to be obsolete anyway. So you might as well go ahead and find it at your local library. Um, of course, you can't work in it. But again, if you go through your notes app, go to scan documents and save it that way. It is so crystal clear. And just do the parts that you need. You might not need to download the whole entire book. But even if you do, it's only 131 pages, honey. And the notes app probably doesn't take a lot of space in your phone and it's worth it because honey, you're trying to pass nursing school. So that is one of my biggest tips to do. Lastly, I'm just going to tell you guys how I'm going to study the science portion. Again, this just goes for the science portion. I believe with every section, I'll probably study a little bit different, but for the science, this is what I'm doing. And I've done this type of studying since the beginning of time, since LPN school. So that was like starting in 2017 and it's always worked for me, especially with science. And that's making flashcards. So again, this section is anatomy and physiology. So what I'm doing is I'm literally going through every section, every paragraph, and I'm making flashcards. And what I mean by that is for instance, this says connective tissue because somewhere in this paragraph, we're talking about the connective tissues, right? So I have the definition of what the connective tissue is on the back. This one has nerve tissue. So I have the definition of what nerve tissue, muscle tissue, what part of the cell contains DNA. And again, it's not asking me that question. Let me read to you what the paragraph actually says. The major parts of the cell should be reviewed. The cell is the basic unit life and the building block of tissues and organs. Within the cell, each organelle has specific function. The nucleus, which contains DNA, the ribosomes, are especially important in the synthesis of proteins. So what did I do? I put what part of the cell contains DNA because I can see them asking a question like that on the HESI and I put again the nucleus. So um, again where they might not be asking a question I'm going to go ahead and make my own test question to help me study and be in the mind frame of answering questions. First we're talking about skin, then the skeletal system, then muscles, the nervous system, the endocrine system. So they're just going through a whole bunch of different systems. And if I'm just reading, I'm not really retaining information and some things might stick and other, other things won't. And especially the things that might not necessarily jump out at me that I might just like skim through but not really internalize, I'm gonna make a question about it. 
So again, that helps me reinforce the information that I read. I have this special privilege of having anatomy and physiology. Like I've already done that class and though it's not gonna to transfer to the nursing school that I'm going to just because they didn't have a lab component in LPN school. So I have to do a anatomy physiology with a lab component. Um, I still have an anatomy and physiology book on hand. And again, if you don't, what, what can you do? What did we learn earlier? you can go to the library and get your own anatomy and physiology book because I'm finding that some of the sections is saying that you need to know certain components like the major components of a cell but it doesn't go into detail about it oh it's Wednesday at noon so for instance so anyway <laughs> So again, it might not have all of the information that you need in great detail. You can go to your local library and pick one up there. But the one that we used in nursing school, I'll insert a picture right here. I highly suggest this specific book, but if you can, I'm sure any anatomy and physiology book, it's, you know, whatever, it's all the same. Um, if you can find that at the library or if you wanna go ahead and pick that up, if you haven't taken the uh, class already, I highly suggest that one because that was extremely thorough. I have the privilege of already taking an anatomy and physiology, so I'm gonna go ahead and reference that book for anything that I need more clarification. So that's what I plan to do in the upcoming days. So however long it takes me to get through science, and I know it's not the biggest portion, but it's something that I want to go ahead and focus on um, just because I wanna do really, really well. I think I will go ahead and nail the english portion the math is going to be the next part so i'm sure you guys will be seeing me soon so we can go ahead and i'm going to show you how i'm going to study for the math components so again that's how i'm studying if you guys have any suggestions you know i'm here uh i'll take as much help as possible because honey i'm trying to get these degrees i feel pretty confident i think that i'm gonna go ahead and nail it but you know i'm just taking the time to do it. I don't necessarily, I haven't scheduled it. I don't necessarily have to take it in a month, but I'm on a break right now from school. So I am utilizing this time to handle some other business. So anyway, many blessings to you guys. Um, it's the 16th of December, so Christmas is next week. Um, New Year soon after. So God is good. I'm glad to be here. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe i will see you really soon take care update it's getting worse it's getting freaking worse